So tell me what you're doing here today. We are painting each other in our essence. <laughs> we get naked. Tell me your names. Uh, my name's Octavia. Gregory. How long have you been together? 10 months. Yeah. Have right, you said I love you? No. No, we haven't got to that yet. <laughs> no? Not yet. 10 months? That's not an easy word to just throw Why around. are you rushing that? Yeah. What do you hope to get out of this? More confidence. Like, I'm confident, but modest, you know, so. Gregory, <laughs> what's your relationship to your body? So, depression. I found out what depression was over the last couple years. You don't want to do anything, not even breathe your next breath. I wasn't going to the gym, even though that's one of my coping mechanisms. I didn't have the motivation for it. Everything was just in a spiral. So, I'm getting back on track from that. Octavia, have you been uh, there with him through a lot of this? I've come in and, what, like the tail end or? Yeah, the tail end. Yeah. She met me when I was at like 45%, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Are you two ready to uh, on your roads? Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> you want to get naked first or second? I'll go first. Dun, 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 dun. I'm ready. <laughs> oh my god, are you really trying to like draw me? I learned from she who should not be named that you draw first. Who's a she who shall not be named? That's my ex-wife. Unfortunately, you came after the worst breakup ever. Not only am I jaded, but scarred from it. And that sucks that you met me at this time where I'm broken, I'm flawed and it's definitely a work in progress. You give me hope, though. Aww. What is your most favorite part of my body? Favorite part, love kissing your lips, love pulling your hair. I gotta say, licking your nipples is the best part. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's my favorite part. Do you know what my favorite part of my body is? I do not, but if I had to guess, considering how much time and effort you put into your hair, <laughs> I'm gonna say your hair. Yeah. What do you think I'm most insecure about? Mm, I'm gonna say your feet. Those Leave my feet out of this. No, 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 no. From head to toe. Why you say that? Because you got bunions. I do. <laughs> you don't even wanna do lunges. I don't. You be off balance. Yeah. And you tall, so I know that's like a long fall. And <laughs> my feet is definitely, maybe not like the most, but it is a thing that I'm very aware of. Like I'm flat footed, I do have bunions and long toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm like sweating. Oh yeah? Why? I don't know, I'm hot. I'm just saying like that boob sweat. <laughs> when was your body at its peak? I say early 20s. I used to walk everywhere. I didn't have a car, so I was like a lot of walking, working out, mm -hmm. and I just felt like really good about myself then. So here's the part where you tell me what happened. Well, what happened was my mid twenties when I what started like was... partying more and hanging out with friends and drinking and eating like crap. How's your painting going? Uh, You're not catching the sweat dripping, are you? I'm about to ask them right now. <laughs> so, how were you taught to think about your body growing up? I remember I would tell my mom I wanted to be and gymnastics, and she's like, you don't have the body for it. And I was like, what does that mean? She's like, You're too tall. And I was like, oh. You are hella tall. <laughs> All right. I'm liking it. Can I show it to her? Yeah. All right. I actually like that. You like that? Yeah. Uh, I gave you the purple hair because you were just raving at Comic-Con, which you did amazing. Everybody loved you. Okay. Gave you the Gemini symbol. Uh, I made sure to get all your assets and give you some bulging biceps that you got oh my coming in. I did see that. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's a good one. I like that. Uh-huh. Are you nervous? <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> Why that pose? No, I try to keep my ego in check. So flexing or anything like that, that's, that's silly. Like this came kind of natural. I'm liking the gray in my beard right now, my little goatee. Have you always been this secure about yourself? Yes. When were you most insecure? Oh, my most insecure moments were probably middle school going to high school. There was a lot of tall girls in uh, sixth and seventh grade, and I was short. 
Uh, <laughs> we're being taller than all the guys in middle school. Exactly. How's it like to date a shorter person? I'm attracted to confidence. So height is nice, right? A lot of girls are like, oh, I want a tall guy. We'll do woo woo woo. And yeah, that's nice. But honestly, you know, you can be six eight and have the littlest confidence in the world and that's not that won't cut it i'm not saying there's not great tall guys out there but i didn't meet them i met you so would you think less of me if i started asking you to get things for me from the top shelf <laughs> i would laugh what is your biggest insecurity related to me i'm concerned i'm so broken that i won't live up to what you deserve no i mean you tend to always exceed my expectations so and here we are yeah. Got me doing sh I'd never do. <laughs> <laughs> How were you taught to think about your body growing up? Uh, I wasn't taught to think about my body growing up. As a male, I get to go through life without all that pressure of magazine this, magazine that. All I gotta do is work out. That's my only standard for, for being taught about my body. And I grew up around all women, so they didn't teach me about my body. No male figures. I didn't even know how to shave when I went to college. Where did you learn about like becoming a man if you grew up around all women. Movies, TV shows, YouTube, trial and error. Had to ask other guys. I still have depression has affected his body. How has depression affected your body? Depression made me fat. <laughs> it stressed me out. Like how, like are you an emotional eater or? Um, I know you said you stopped going to the gym. Yeah, I definitely stopped going to the gym and it gave me nightmares to the point where I, I can't sleep properly. So since I can't sleep properly, I never recover and I never rest correctly. Like I'm sleep deprived now. Okay. Let's see, show me. Da -da -da. Yo, that's awesome. Nah. It is. I like it. I drew you in the middle, obviously, right? Uh -huh. And then you're holding that pose and I tried to encompass your flexing arms. <laughs> I drew the black down there. A, because I didn't know what else to draw, but B, also, you know, dark past, history, you know, whatever. I drew the sun because, I mean, you're a Leo. Uh-huh. But also you are like this bright, shining, amazing light when you smile. Oh. Um, but then I drew the little yin-yang symbol because like there's that duality yeah. within you and within all of us, but within you. Everything's ebb and flow. Uh, it reminds me of the biggie. You remember the Biggie picture where he's got the crown tilted on his oh, head? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, you too. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel good, yeah. What'd you get from this activity? Uh, awesome painting. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> uh, I got some definite self-reflection on how we feel about each other. Some yeah. introspection on it because we talk about it, but we don't talk about it, right? We just yeah. coexist in our moment. Yeah. You make me feel more comfortable. <laughs> with Ooh. myself, with my body, with everything. You're a pretty stable force in my life. It's comforting to look up because like I'm over here nervous. I'm like freaking sweating, boob sweat, all that. And you just have this cheesy smile. It's like, oh, it'll be all right. You know, so I trust you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.